cook off, cook off, cook off. So apparently I have to stay after the credits, like a Marvel thing to... I guess there's something after the credits. Oh, there's something after this credit. Ugh. Ugh. Thank God for anime. Giving you pervertiness. Anyway, let's get right into it, man. Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma Episode 5. And once again, you know, I did not, I didn't know you have to you know, stay after the credits to see what happened in the last episode. You know, uh, what was it Star, Polar Star? Polar Star, whatever. Uh, you know, Soma gets his, his new roommates and stuff. They celebrate. Well, I guess he was the, <laughs> the Elite Ten. The Elite Ten is right in front of him. Is living right with him, and that is Ishiki. Uh, Ishiki, the one, the guy, the guy who was naked, butt ass naked, cooking food. Uh, Ishikin, uh, Ishikun, Ishikun, Ishigun, Ishikun. Uh, basically, I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll get the name down. All right. Uh, it's, it's pretty much, uh, yeah. He searched Soma something, and Soma's just like unbelievable. You know, all the glitz and glamour of trying food that's actually very enjoyable. And then we see basically him telling him like, "Yeah, I'm the seven seat son. That's right, seven seat." Soma, show me what you got. Let me see. Let's have a cook off, and that's exactly what happens. Ishiken and uh, Soma have a little cook off. Soma brings him this dish. He pretty much uses the same th the same dish, but twists it up a little bit. He has some French cooking in his style, and that goes from his dad. His dad pretty much knows all the elements of cooking, just makes it his own, or just really you know mix it all up. You don't have to stay traditional. You can do st other stuff and really you know in integrate all the things you've learned. So that's how Soma what he does in his next dish. Freaking Ishikun is just like on. He's like sprouting. Everybody's sprouting because he serves everybody a dish of what he made and salmon, uh, Spanish salmon or Spanish whatever. Uh, I was thinking of tapatio for some reason. And everybody's sprouting. Everybody's like just so much still being beast, still being beast. And then we see Nakari and her uh, challenging this one dude in order to get his property, his uh, dojo, pretty much a sumo wrestler. We learn now the rules of how you could challenge somebody to a cook-off and to become an elite 10. It's not that easy. You need judges. You need, uh, you need like high chefs. You need just so many rules. And what I love about one of the rules is you have to give up something with equal value. Even being given up, you know, your schooling is not enough to go against elite 10 because elite 10 are powerful people so i love that aspect how is soma going to be able to challenge well i guess he he'll be able to challenge everybody if he gets those three rules of engagement so to speak so ishikun throw, showing him the ropes telling him how it's done i do love the comedy in here how someone was just determined to have a cook off with them but yeah whoa 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 buddy i mean you can't just say let's have a cook off and you know even though it was a draw last night here's the ground rules and i love the as we we're seeing them lay down the rules we're seeing nakagiri kicking ass i love you nakagiri you're so cold but you're so and uh, I love her little, like, when she gets into her little mind state and, you know, she comes out of the ocean, James Bond style, Bond. And it, 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 was, it was kind of funny. And then, you know, just a bunch of hippopotamus. I love how they start critiquing you after, you know, after they're just not feeling the food. So we learned that the case that uh, we see Nakariri in actual battle in a cook-off. So I want to see it. I want to see some cook-offs. I want to see some cook-offs, goddammit. Let's get it. Uh, and also, we see one of the other roommates, the one that you can't really see his eyes. I mean, Ishibukun? Ishibukun, I believe his name is. I'll get all the names down next episode. But um, he pretty much tells Ishibukun. So much shit. He tells him, you know, you, you, were a little, you were a little soft there, man. You didn't go full throttle. That dish you made was too safe. That, that wasn't your all. That wasn't your all, buddy. So, yeah, it's 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 interesting. Like how he, if Soma was Soma giving him his, well, he always gives his all for every dish. So I'm pretty sure if Soma knows the chef is a, a you know 
as good as him, he'll he'll take it up a notch. He'll go up a level. But there's so many characters going to be introduced, more characters, so much stuff that's happening. This episode I really enjoyed because we know the groundwork. We know the rules now on how to challenge somebody. And we know about the Elite Ten and... That basically, the main goal for Soma is to get in there, to be the top dog, to pretty much destroy the Elite Ten. So I can't wait to see what happens there. And also a little bit more backstory on his father and his adventures. Uh, great stuff. Great stuff, got to say. Uh, very funny. Loved how Megumi wakes up and they're like, you know, Soma and Ishiki are like shaking hands and like Ishiki is like pretty much naked and Megumi's like, is going on so that was pretty funny everybody drunk off of rice juice rice juice yeah that's right rice juice uh great stuff really enjoyed it uh so far i really like the series i really enjoying it i don't overly you know i don't think it's the greatest series of all time but overall it's really enjoyable and it's good watch it's good watch i can't wait to see some food wars i can't wait to see um this new character that's entering the picture excuse me that's entering the picture and uh, all her assets. She's the meat queen. Meat queen? She's the meat queen. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Let me know your thoughts so far of the season. Uh, great stuff. Great stuff so far. Animation, great. Um, sometimes it's... Sometimes, though, the over-the-topness is just too much over-the-topness. With the music, just a little bit. And um, It seemed like it, it reminded me a little bit of Desert Punk. But Desert Punk does it just like... Desert Punk is like right on the money with their comedy and their over the topness. But great stuff. So far, I'm enjoying it. See you guys later. Bye. Cook. Ooh, that's dangerous.